Loading kits and saving kits in battery is relatively straightforward. There's a couple of catch points. When you load kits, there's three different places to do so. You can pull it off the file menu here and say open kit or open recent. Not to be confused with new kit because if I go to open kit, get this dialog, and it take me to the battery three library, I'll pick a kit, choose, and if I wanted to wipe this, then I would say new kit. And that's what that does. Okay, so you saw me open a kit. And there is the default battery location. It goes to my hard drive, which is called Open Meadow. Let's just go all the way back. Open Meadow user shared battery three you can see all the complete eight stuff in there and i know from long experience with native instruments that it's best to just keep their stuff where it sits because everything breaks when they when these files are in different places and for that reason i always with my native stuff i always put my own patches within their folders so what I did is I created a folders OO battery kits. And what this does is stick it to the very top of the other place to open the factory library is right there. Okay, and you can see it cascades out and my kits are on the very top. So go ahead and load, you know, whatever kits you want. I'm gonna do full jazz because it's one of the best kits there is actually. Okay, and there's the kit. Great. Let's just say that I want to modify this in some way. I'm going to just select this row and delete a whole row. Yes. Okay, so now I've deleted a couple rows here. And let's say that I want to save this kit. I'll go File, Save Kit As. And up here is our Save dialog for, for this kit. Now, I'm going to want to put it in my own folder, and patch only is just that. It's the patch is goes into my battery library, into my battery kits, but the samples will still be in acoustic kits so under full jazz. But you can see that the the samples are covered up here, whereas the samples in my folders are open. I can see I can see my samples. The reason is is that the library kits are saved as a monolith. So if you're to save your patches as a monolith, then they'll come out like this, you know, BB Jazz Kit or whatever you name this. I prefer to save with samples because I move uh, between computers a fair amount. And then if I'm collaborating with other guys that are using battery, then I can just grab these up and stick them up on Dropbox and they can have the same kits. Okay, so this is this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stick this in there. Okay, so it, it reloaded the, my full jazz kit and um, what did I name it? Right there. Yeah, okay, so, and there it is right there. Now let's just say that some of these have gone missing or let's just put this somewhere else, just like that. And close that up and say file, open kit, and go to my full jazz kit. And it's gonna do one of these numbers, missing samples. And there's a few options down in here, but you really, really don't want this to happen. So I can go here, I'm gonna go locate, and just say they're right here. Choose, and then say uh, search the file system. So it's gonna look first there at the place I just steered it to. Okay, and now they're back, okay? Okay, so the other way to get a hold of kits is in the browser. 
and it too defaults to the factory content. This moves back and forth, but that's the only thing that uh, does so down there. And you can get in here and look, double click and see the best of crypt, double click that and up she comes. The cool thing is that you can see how big the kits are, how many groups, how many zones are in these kits. So you can kind of tell some things your arrow keys work up and down in here. And there's a preview function. But remember, these are monolithic kits, so you can't get to the samples, so you're not gonna be able to hear them. In one case, you can, and that's in the cell library, because they're not saved as monoliths, they're saved as samples. So big and bad, cell library, and I can start previewing this stuff. Okay. Okay, and when you find when you find something that you like, then you can just move things to different locations just like so. Or you can do an entire kit that way just by double clicking like so. Alright, so that is loading kits and saving them in battery.